Sometimes, brilliance goes unappreciated. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 films you can't believe flopped at the box office. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the very best films that were duds at the box office, despite being entertaining or even downright groundbreaking pieces of cinema. Hey you! Hey you! Come back here, dragon fool! Number 10, The Shawshank Redemption. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. This now beloved tale of a jailbreak years in the making only found an audience after its theatrical run. Despite only drawing in $28 million domestically against a $25 million budget, the film later found massive success when it was released on VHS and acquired by cable networks for home viewing. Now, Frank Darabont's classic film can be found at the very top of IMDb's top 250 list of the greatest films of all time. It just goes to show, sometimes you have to crawl through a river of you-know-what before you come out the other side clean. Get busy living, you get busy dying. Number 9. Dread. Mama is not the law. I am the law. Maybe it was the all-too-fresh memories of the less-than-stellar Sylvester Stallone movie from the 1990s, but audiences weren't too excited about this second attempt at adapting the classic cult comic about a ruthless cop from a dystopian future. However, those who made the trip to the theater found that the film was a blast, despite bombing on a budget somewhere around $30 million and $45 million. This isn't a negotiation. The sentence is death. Hard-hitting action, an interesting world, and a version of the character who actually keeps his helmet on, the film delivers on all these and more. Hopefully, its second life on home media will open up the possibility for a follow-up. I'm wondering when you'd remember you left your helmet behind. Number 8. Big Trouble in Little China Everybody relax, I'm here. This classic is now considered one of the finest collaborations between Kurt Russell and John Carpenter, but audiences in 1986 didn't really know what to make of the kung fu fantasy comedy mashup, and the film quietly left theaters after just a couple of weeks, only making $11 million. But thanks to the magic of home video, it now has a devoted cult following that knows the film inside and out. And I'm a reasonable guy, but I've just experienced some very unreasonable things. Sadly, this wasn't the first time Russell Carpenter Brilliance would be met with box office failure, as their previous collaboration, The Thing, met a similar fate. Now I'll show you what I already know. Number 7. The Princess Bride My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You know all the quotes, you can reenact every scene, and you'll drop the word inconceivable into any sentence you can. We're all fans of this classic fantasy comedy here, but back in the day, audiences just weren't ready for this classic tale of love, sword fighting, and castle storming, and the film barely made $30 million on a budget of $16 million. Inconceivable! Thankfully, much like the teeny tiny Fred Savage that the story is being read to, people came around eventually and embraced the film for all of its quotable glory. You mock my pain! Life is pain, Highness. Number 6. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory The handyman hand cause he mixes it with lava makes the world taste good. While the Candyman can do a lot of things, it turns out he can't make his money back at the box office. While this Ruel Dahl adaptation is now considered a classic that's enjoyed by both children and adults, upon release, it was considered to be a failure, not even recouping its budget of $3 million. It could be that Dahl's disowning of the film hurt its reputation, or it could be that audiences at the time just didn't have the sweet tooth to enjoy Willy Wonka's blend of sugar and sass. Whatever the reason, it didn't affect Wonka's staying power, and the movie continues to delight and frighten to this day. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Number 5. Citizen Kane Rosebud. Charles Foster Kane is no stranger to losing money. I did lose a million dollars last year. I expect to lose a million dollars this year. I expect to lose a million dollars next year. Widely regarded as one of the greatest films of all time, Orson Welles' masterpiece didn't connect as much with audiences during its first theatrical run. The film lacked the mainstream appeal necessary to draw big crowds, and Wells himself said that almost no one besides himself attended the movie's Chicago premiere. The film earned only a fraction of its $840,000 budget, but managed to make its money back and then some when it was re-released in 1991. Now what do you say? Let's shake. My child! Oh, Charles, you almost hurt me! My child, I'm sorry! sorry. It's there to display with... <laughs> Number 4. The Iron Giant This animated coming-of-age tearjerker is now regarded as the go-to movie for getting normally stoic men to cry like tiny children. But audiences weren't that interested in the heart-rending tale of a boy and his giant robot upon release, 
and the film underperformed at the box office. I guess you're not gonna hurt me, huh? Despite gorgeous animation and a stellar voice cast, including Jennifer Aniston and a young man by the name of Vin Diesel, the film only made $31 million worldwide, while falling short of a budget between $70 million and $80 million. Thankfully, the film later found success on home video, and we've been ugly crying ever since. Souls die. Number 3. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Because I'm in lesbians with you. What? All the elements were in place, a beloved director with style to spare, a whole host of stars, eye-popping video game-inspired visuals, and a killer soundtrack. Hello again, friend of a friend, I knew you were. But when it came time for this 2011 comedy based on the hit indie comic book, audiences sadly were not hooked. Maybe people just weren't that into Michael Cera anymore, or maybe the pixelated aesthetics weren't to the liking of most moviegoers, but this cult hit was destroyed at the box office, losing the studio millions of dollars. You'll pay for your crimes against humanity! Among director Edgar Wright's filmography, it's often seen as a misfit, but to us, it remains an all-time classic. I'll leave you alone forever now. Thanks. Number 2. Blade Runner oh, More human than human is our motto. A meddling studio and an audience burned out on sci-fi are often cited as the causes of this legendary film's underperformance at the box office, barely recouping its $28 million budget with a $33 million take. Hey, Ridley Scott's sci-fi noir opus was legendarily mangled by a meddling studio, who insisted that an out-of-nowhere happy ending be tacked on, as well as numerous other cuts. It wasn't until years later that the definitive version of the film was finally made available, complete with a proper downbeat ending. But even in its neutered state, this radical version of the future was unlike anything audiences had seen before. I guess you're through, huh? Finished. Number 1. The Wizard of Oz Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Despite its monumental technical achievements and lasting legacy, the adventures of a Kansas farm girl in the magical land of Oz failed to enchant audiences upon the film's initial release, barely making $3 million against a $2.8 million budget. The adventures of Dorothy and friends are now seen as a landmark in cinematic history, in spite of initial audience apathy. It just goes to show that sometimes, a film that doesn't initially break the bank can still go on to become an indelible cultural icon. It just might take a decade or two. That a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.